Welcome back to another episode of Mad English TV. It's so great having you here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tuning in means thank you for joining me. Back in the olden days when people would listen to the radio, they would tune in to a certain radio station. Like, you know, when you would turn the dial on the radio, you would make that noise, then you would hear a voice. Welcome to Voice of America or something like that. Nowadays, I don't think people listen to radios anymore. Let me know, do you have a radio? Do you listen to a radio? I mean, I have a, a radio in my car, but I think most people just listen to music in their car. Let me know, do you listen to the radio? So, where am I taking you today? Well, today, I'm taking you to the real Canadian superstore. The real Canadian superstore. What is that? Well, it's Canada's largest supermarket. Okay, it's a chain. It's a, it's a chain of grocery stores here in Canada. All across Canada, and it's the biggest it's the biggest store. There are other grocery stores like Safeway. Remember a few weeks ago I took you to a Safeway how to do grocery shopping in Canada. Except Safeway and other stores like Co-op or Sobeys or those kind of stores are a little bit smaller. So so Superstore is the biggest. Superstore is pretty much, I think, the biggest place you can go to buy groceries. Fruit, vegetables, household products, you know, maybe even some furniture. Um, what else do they have? I mean, just anything you need for your house. Now, another big store is Costco. But the problem with Costco is that you need a membership. I think the membership costs like $50 a year or a hundred dollars a year or something like that. Um, and the other problem with Costco is that Costco doesn't sell fresh fruits and vegetables. It sells everything in bags. So if you want a bag of spinach or some other kind of salad, you could get that at Costco. But at other normal grocery stores, you can buy like a bunch of spinach, fresh spinach, or you know, cilantro or any other, you know, fruits and vegetables that you want to buy. It's not in bags, all right? So I think Superstore is one of the best places to shop. It probably has the lowest prices. Um, it all depends on the, the product you want to buy. You know, sometimes I think meat is more expensive at Superstore. Uh, or maybe dairy. You'll just, you have to go check out these different places when you come to Canada. Superstore, Co-op, Safeway, and find which one you like the best. But generally, probably, Superstore offers the lowest prices overall because it's the biggest store. It has the most purchasing power, right? When a company is really big, it has lots of purchasing power. Okay, so it's called the Real Canadian uh, Superstore, but most people just say Superstore. They just say, I'm going to Superstore. Where are you going shopping? I'm just heading out to Superstore. Heading out means I'm just going to Superstore. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just heading to Superstore to buy... What am I going to buy? Well, actually I don't really need very much stuff. I just want to take you there to show you. Um, but I, I'm going to buy some kombucha. Kombucha. Do you know what that is? It's... Uh, how do I describe it? It's like a fermented probiotic drink. It's fizzy. It's a natural, fizzy drink. Sort of like pop. Like Coke, Pepsi, Sprite. 
The problem with those drink, those kinds of drinks is they're really unhealthy, right? Like Coke, Pepsi. I, I love those drinks, but I never drink them because they're, they're really unhealthy. They have such high sugar content. It's ridiculous. I think in one can of Coke, there are like 30 teaspoons of sugar or something. Maybe, and maybe 20 or 30. Do you know how many teaspoons of sugar there are in a can of Coke? It's outrageous. Okay, so something I like to drink is it's a natural alternative to pop. Okay. In Canada, we use the word pop. Pop means soda. In the US, they say soda. In Canada, we say pop. Pop is Sprite, Fanta, Pepsi, those kinds of drinks, okay? So a natural alternative to those is kombucha. Kombucha is, uh, it's, I don't even know how to describe to you how it's made. It's, it's made with um, a living thing called a scoby. It's like a mushroom. It almost looks like a mushroom. If you make it at home yourself, you you get a big jar and then you you put some tea and sugar and maybe some other stuff and then this living piece of bacteria called the scoby it eats the sugar and it ferments the it ferments the drink okay and it can become a little bit alcoholic too it's sort of like uh, kefir. Do you know what kefir is? Or a lot of people say kefir. Kefir, kefir. Uh, kefir is a Middle Eastern drink that uh, that's usually made from dairy, like from milk, but you can also make it from water. And uh, it's sort of the same idea. There are little lumps, little chunks of bacteria in the the milk and it, they eat the sugar out of the milk because milk has sugar in it right lactose lactose is sugar a lot of people are lactose intolerant that means they they can't have milk they can't drink milk because they're allergic to that that substance in the milk so um, so kefir those little kefir grains they eat the sugar out of the milk and make it easier to digest and healthier a lot of a lot of health you know websites health magazines promote these kinds of healthy probiotic drinks like kefir uh, kombucha okay so there are different flavors that you can buy i like buying one called multi green kombucha multi green it's made from like seaweed and uh, some other green substance anyway it's it's basically a way to get fizzy uh, a fizzy drink uh, without the the sugar content or without such high sugar content i think it still has a little bit of sugar so we're almost here to the real canadian superstore Okay, there's always a big Canadian flag above the store. You'll see it when we go inside. It looks like there's a big Alberta flag and a big Canada flag. So let me think, do I need to buy anything else here? Oh, maybe I'll buy some cucumbers because I like making cucumber juice as well. I like cucumber juice. Um, so I'm going to buy some cucumbers and some... Uh, some kombucha so what do you want me to buy i wish this was live so you could you could talk to me and you could tell me mark i want to know how much this costs in canada how much you know maybe uh how much milk costs or how much you know you just have to you have to go into the store and see for yourself you know maybe after you come to canada you can just take a day, you can go walking through all the grocery stores here in, in Canada and find the best one and see how much things cost. Uh, 
but uh, if you want, you can ask me down in the comments as well below this video. You can ask me how much things cost, and I'll, I'll try to tell you how much eggs cost, or milk, or bread, or cookies, or all of those things, okay? Um, so, I'm just going to pull into the parking lot here. It's a very bright, sunny day here in Calgary, Alberta. And I'm just going to find a parking spot and then I'll take you inside. Actually, a few days ago I made a driving lesson uh, called City Driving in Canada and I was in this parking lot. There were some birds, some seagulls, and uh, I tried to run over some seagulls. It was a lot of fun. So I'm in this, this is the same place I was at a few weeks ago. Okay, so right now I'm just going to look for a parking spot. I think I see one here. Uh, there's some traffic. Maybe I'll look for another place. Now, one thing I want to show you is that when you shop here, um, you get, you if you want to get a cart, you know, to put a lot of things in, then you need to have a loonie. Always keep a loonie in your pocket or in your car somewhere so that you can, uh, that you can get a cart because you need a loonie to release the cart. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna park right here. Just gonna do a perpendicular park here and then uh, I'll show you how to get the cart. Okay, let's go.